once again my friends, I'm Metzli from the future and what you're about to watch is Metzli from the past first attempt at live streaming. Skyrim was behaving very weirdly, I warn you, and starting right at the beginning when I found a tomato the size of a human head. <laughs> What's this on the floor? Well met, this is a huge ass tomato. What the hell? Like this the tomato is the... God, what the hell happened? Where did it go? Why is my game so buggy? <laughs> Oh boy, little did I know this was only the beginning. I was making my way to the temple of Kinareth to continue my Elder Glean quest. Bless Danica, you. what you got for me? I don't remember what happened last time. With Are you busy? You have a quest for me, girl! If you don't want help, just get out of my quest list. Dude, what is wrong with you? Do you have the slightest idea who I am? Finally! Yes, I have the Nettlebane for you. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of oh, that's why you didn't want to talk to no. me. You didn't even remember me. I took I so long. Really and as a bonus, get an extra follower, Maurice, as I once tried to do in episode 25. Please move quickly. Ugh. Elder Gleam awaits us. I don't think we are going to the Elder Gleam right now. I'm going to take you to greater adventures. Then right after, I decided to go on a hunt for another Daedrid artifact. Wait, I also had the Shrine of Azura to visit. Yeah, that's another Daedric Prince we could go check out. But first, I had to stop in Riverwood to sell some stuff. Look, buy my shit, please. Then a dragon appeared. Because, of course, why would not? I bravely killed it. <laughs> of course, not with some side casualties. Hey, Alvor, you're not looking very good, are you? Ah, oh, what a series of unfortunate events. Oh, Maurice is alive! Maurice! Oh, you impressed me, dude! <laughs> Maurice, you're not going to like the next place I'm taking you. Continuing my quest, I teleported to Cheerpoint, where I discovered that the dragon that I had killed there previously had respawned. Because why not? Dragons love to be an inconvenience to our life in Skyrim. No, guys, this is a plan. You get its aggro, and I stay in the back, attacking. So I had to kill it again. And then I attempted to fight Crozis, my arch enemy, again. Defeat Crozis! Yes, do you remember I tried to defeat Crozis? I don't know how many years ago, but now I have um, Maurice with me. Maurice will be the hero, aren't you? Is it much further to the sanctuary? <laughs> we are not going to the sanctuary, my friend. We are going to that sanctuary who's called the hell over here. Come out! Alright, guys. Start attacking it and please do not die. I need you. No! Maurice! Maurice! <laughs> no! He's very brave, though. Look at him. He's behaving way better than me on my first time. He's not afraid of anything. I'm gonna be a super awesome mage in a minute or two if I keep healing myself like this. Is he healing himself as well? No, dude, that's cheating. You should not heal yourself. And somehow I got Crozy stuck and I cheesed my way to victory. Oh, maybe I can eat him up the mountain. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Is he stuck in the mountain now? over there hi how it feels to be down there stuck he can't move and he can't attack me can he oh this is the best strategy ever this is the best strategy guys you can't deny that that wasn't smart that was pretty epic, epic help me step dragonborn i'm stuck i love this this is just the most cheesiest way to do this eric is not attacking is he no eric gave up he's just he's watching the show Crozes is gone. Crozes is defeated forever! Yep, that's how my epic tale of defeating Crozes ends. <laughs> and I got a new word of power. Prienita, eh? Where is Maurice? I lost him again. Fucking man can stay alive for, for his life, can he? No, he's here! Dude, <laughs> I had hopes for you! You survived one dragon! God damn it. Crozes? What do you have on you? Bone meal? A mask! Archery! Yes! Oh, yes! I'm gonna equip it right now. I oh, I look so good. Making my way to the shrine of Azura, I found a lot of bugs. 
A floating goat and I am swimming on land, swimming on land through the eyes. There must be a curse out here somewhere. Ah, oh, Todd must be mad at me because I should buy the anniversary edition. And he's mad, so he's cursing me with this buggy mess of what's going on. I can't even figure it out. Never set foot in there again. Cursed place, I tell you. Do not go there. I found a fort. Eric, you're doing a great job at stealthing. Very nice. We have to sneak around. Be careful not to make a sound. Oh no, they saw me! No, 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 I'm not... No, I'm not the target! Eric, get their attention, stop! I don't want to be attacked anymore. Are they all gone? Eric? Report on the fort, please. There's one more left. Where is it? Oh, you little shit, you're hiding behind the wall. <gasps> There's a skeleton over there. Alright, we go down. Is there a, a necromancer conjurer here? Like, who raised you? Somebody has raised you, right? Is anybody here? Ah, there's somebody here. Are you friendly? You're not friendly. You're already conjuring up a spell. Oh, you're a necromancer. I was right. Someone must have raised that skeleton. You raised that boy. And we're proud. But you're going to die now. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Wait, what's over there? Not the skeleton. Take it out, Eric. Is it dead already? Do it then! If you're so glad to kill it, then just do it! Eric, what's wrong with you? This is not a staring contest! Go! Where is it? Oh, for fuck's sake, Eric. You can't do anything right, can you? Here. This is how you do it. You just get close to it, smack it up the head. Yeah, there's some collateral damage you might get from that, but... You're strong, man. I believe in you. I believe in you, Eric. You can. You have beautiful eyes, man. Mm, yeah, he's still learning how to be a warrior. Mm. I found a party of revelers in my way. What's going on here? Are you guys having a party? Hey, friend. Yeah. Why well, have one? We can have two. This is a party or what? My own heart. This good deed should not go unrewarded. Here, take this. Hey. Cheers, my friend. <gasps> May your adventures find you fame and fortune. What did I get? Charmed necklace, care <gasps> caring capacity. Oh my god, I love him. Oh my god, care I need caring capacity so much, dude. I want to kiss you. As in typical Skyrim fashion, after the event ended, they just ignored me and just acted like we never met. Wait, where are you going? I thought we were going to party. I haven't drank my mead yet. Yes. Oh my god, don't mm -hmm. the default dialogue me, dude. What do you want? Don't <laughs> I thought we were friends. Yeah. Don't go. Don't go. No. I should stop getting attached to random NPCs. Finally I arrived at the shrine of Azura where I talked to a priestess you who also had a questionable jiggly champion. boobies. <laughs> Let's call it that. Yeah. Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not oh, curious. She must not be impressed. Fate, fate Why would anyone been. choose me to be their champion? Are you all alone here? <laughs> yes. Azura How do you survive up here? You don't seem to have any food on this death. table. I stole her salt piles, as one typically does, and then I headed towards Winterhold, where I accidentally found the right person for my quest. And okay. who's that uh, mysterious person? Who are you? You have a hood and a cloak. I don't now a car. Any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. I'm looking for an elven mage who studies stars. Who sent you? Oh, he's the one I'm supposed to talk to! I had no idea! Priestess of Azura sent me. Azura. Oh, my speech increased! Nice! I have a very low speech in real life, so I like when my speech in games is better. He then proceeded to tell me about Malin Varen's story and the Azura star, and I'm pretty sure at this point I'm the only dumb fuck who has never done this quest, right? Alright, I got the right person at first try. That's impressive, if I say so myself. I stole a cute little staff that I found, and then, of course, I couldn't end the episode without insulting an orphan. What am I going to do? What happened, little one? You don't have parents, like all the other orphans I found in my travels. You are not unique. <laughs> that may have come across way more aggressive than I wanted. Alright, and that was it, my friends.
If you enjoyed what you watched, then please consider subscribing to my channel and also following me over on Twitch. I'm trying to start live streaming, I still don't have a schedule, but I also don't have a schedule for YouTube. I'm very bad at organizing my life, but I'm trying. So the best thing would be just to subscribe and get your notifications on, following me on Twitch so you get a notification every time I upload or when I go live, so you'll know if you want to watch me. Yay! The links are all down below in the description, as well as my coffee and Patreon pages, where you can show your support to my channel if you're feeling generous. <laughs> Otherwise, just liking, commenting and sharing also helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next time. Toodles!